Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 here in Budapest, Hungary. We're very pleased to be joined in the studio by Tim Unwin, who is co-founder of Tech Together, amongst lots of other things too. <laughs> Thanks, it's great to be back here again. Cheers. So, Tim, I wanted to start off by, there's been a lot of talk uh, here about uh, uh, digital skills, uh, innovation, uh, innovation connectivity that matters, uh, but I wanted to start off by asking you about digital exclusion. What are the major factors in digital exclusion, specifically in the digital gender gap, do you think? Yeah, I think we have to begin by realising that technology, digital technologies, ICTs, are an accelerator. So they will accelerate whatever is happening already in society. And so where you have exclusion, particularly around gender issues, particularly in patriarchal societies, tech, unless you do something about it, is always going to accelerate that. And I think we're now beginning to understand that uh, exclusion or inequality is not just on one kind of variable. It's where they all intersect. I don't particularly like the word intersectionality, but that's what this refers to. So where you say have refugees who are, have disabilities who are women, they're going to be the most excluded of all. And I think you know, I've been working for the last 20 years in trying to uh, change that. And, and, and I think we need to begin by focusing on the most marginalized, so women in patriarchal society, and understanding how they are marginalized, particularly by technology. And what's Tech Together doing for this? Well, Tech Together, there have been so many initiatives about reducing gender digital inequality. Nearly all of them by women for women. And you know, because so many other people have been working in the field, although it's something I've you know, been caring about ever since the work we, used, we did 20 years ago with women in, in Ethiopia, it was based on the saying if we don't change men's attitudes and behaviors, we're not going to make a difference. So Tech Together is all about uh, changing men's attitudes and behaviours. So that isn't actually the same as allies for women. It's about you know guys like you and me. We have to change if there's going to be any difference really to gender digital equality. Now, of course, guys like you and me are one thing. What about uh, AI? How does gender bias manifest itself in AI systems, and and how do you think it can be mitigated? The mitigating is probably the easier one to answer in some ways, because. It's about understanding how AI is leading to greater differentiation, exclusion, but it's worse than that. It, it's how AI can be used to harass and abuse women as well. And so the, the answer is understanding more, sharing understandings, uh, getting people actually to do things differently. There are lots of ways in which it is impacting uh, the Equals initiative, which the ITU plays a really major uh, role in has recently launched uh, a wonderful report on AI and, and gender. So there are all sorts of things. Uh, the, the use of you know, female voices for things like Siri, uh, to name one. Uh, but but yeah, why is it women? And, and how are those programmed? And how do they respond to different questions? Uh, and, and, and you then go back and say, well, why were they designed like that in the first place? To me, that's the interesting question. Um, probably like, you know, a, a, a bad man driver, I need a woman's voice to calm me down. When I'm, but, but more seriously, AI is only as good as the data that is put in. Uh, and, and so I, I, I'm fascinated by the way that you know, if you think of China, which has whatever it is, 16% of the world's population. That is a huge amount of data. But again, you know, that's only Chinese data. Uh, if you take uh, you know, US corporations, US is only 4% of the world's population, but has kind of a bigger reach. But still, the data that is accumulated has biases within it. And if those biases reflect the structural biases in society that I was talking about earlier, you know, male, female, disability, um, they will then be replicated and exaggerated through the use of AI. So how are you working in your, your various roles to increase inclusivity? Um, particularly around gender, well, Tech Together is one of the main ways we're doing that. Uh, we're also very, well, we're very involved in equals more generally about supporting the highest possible quality of research, getting gender disaggregated data. Um, we're doing exciting things for the moment uh, around migration and the inequalities associated with migration. Now, how can we use AI to reduce inequalities 
in the migration process, particularly in countries, I don't like the word south, but in, in you know, countries of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. So that's much more migration than from those countries, those continents, to the north. So, so actually, how can we use digital technologies uh, to, to do that? And, and I think we're also particularly working around understanding just the scale and the extent of the ways in which these technologies are actually used to do harm, um, you know, abuse and sexual harassment. And you know, the numbers of people who commit suicide, particularly women, uh, particularly in strongly patriarchal societies, uh, because of what happens to them digitally, um, working on that. Now, you're, you're no stranger to ITU, uh, no stranger to ITU events. We've met many times and, and talked in, in many studios yeah. in, in many different countries. I just wanted to ask you, what's the value for you of attending events such as this at ITU Telecom World? Yeah. I think it has to be meeting some brilliant people. It's, it's a great opportunity for ministers, for CEOs, uh, for thought leaders to come together to thrash out some of the uh, really challenging issues. I, I have to say, perhaps I've been around too long, but, but one of the challenges is every new generation makes the same mistakes that we did. So we're hearing the same things over and over again about a new technology. So what's said now about AI, uh, actually we were talking about um, you know, getting computers into schools and big computer labs and things. Um, I, 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 I'm trying to find ways that we can short circuit the mistakes that, that people are making because you just see it over and over again. Um, and uh, I hope that'll change and we're, we're trying to create new um, next year uh, for example a, a non-conference where you don't have any panels you don't have any uh, keynotes but you actually have a range of difficult act different activities so wouldn't it be amazing to get a group of while well, we're here in Budapest a group of senior uh, people in the sector actually talking about the problems while they're walking up the hill to the castle or when they're going around an art gallery. So we're gonna be trying to, to mix it up and, and you can talk about cyber security or gender inequality while painting pottery or something like that. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> but that's, no, there is a place so, obviously also yep. for, for events like this and it's, yes. it's always good to come back. Yep. Um, and actually, and reflecting it, it, it's good to see the way since Penny Pot that the ITU is moving forward doing things differently. Um, and, and yeah, beginning to talk about things like meaningful connectivity. Great. Well, thank you for taking the time to sit still for a little, little, little while, not move forward too quickly for us. But that's wonderful. And very much wish you the very best with all, all of uh, your uh, initiatives and uh, look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you. And it's always a real pleasure to, to chat with you on occasions like this. And thanks to the ITU for inviting me to be here. Tim Unwin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>